Hyundai is growing their MPV family. Just when everyone else is going all in on SUVs, they've done the opposite and concentrated instead on growing their MPV lineup. This time around, we're featuring the Custin and the Stargazer X. This is the first ever Hyundai Custin. It's a luxury MPV designed to sandwich the Stargazer and the Staria. In terms of design, the Custin is pretty much a modern Hyundai. You see that in the sensual sportiness design. The parametric grille is still present and it actually integrates the hidden DRL feature. LED headlights are standard and at every corner you get either 17 or in the case of the top of the line variant, 18 inch alloy wheels. Now powering the Custin is a 1.5 liter turbocharged direct injection engine. If you think that there's a lack of power here, well, you're wrong because in this case, it has 170 PS of power and 253 Newton meters of torque. The Custin also debuts an interesting engine technology in the Philippines for the first time. It debuts Hyundai's CVVD or Continuously Variable Valve Duration Technology. By controlling how the valves open and close, it improves both efficiency and performance. Mated to that is an 8-speed automatic with adaptive cruise control for the premium model. The same parametric design element you find actually here in things like the side view mirrors, the door handles, even the running board here. So those are very interesting features and it gives a unique twist in the MPV segment. Now, let's take a look at the back. You would notice that the Custin has dual sliding doors. That would make it unique in its price segment. We'll talk about that later. Behind you get the full length LED taillight design and unique for this car is the disappearance of the H logo. Instead, the Hyundai is spelled out. Power tailgate is also standard on the top of the line variant as well. When you step inside the Custom, you would immediately recognize that this is the top of the line premium variant that is noticeable by these beige leather seats. The base model, the GLS gets all black interior with leather seats as well. At the center is this large 10.4 inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and also a digital gauge cluster for the driver. In terms of features, the Custom is well-packed. Panoramic sunroof, power driver seat, powered front passenger seat are among the features that you get here at the front. What's more interesting is what you get in the second and third row, and we'll get to that. Over to the second row is where all the magic happens here inside the Custom. You get second row captain seats regardless of variant but this top of the line when actually get this added feature which is called relaxation seats you can even move the seats sideways as you can see here and this one is interesting because on the go it simulates the feeling of zero gravity so talk about being in comfort while you're stuck in traffic now if you don't care much about relaxing in traffic and you just want to keep charged that's no problem because you get first and second row wireless charging. And for those who'd like to work on the go, these little nifty tables with pop-out cup holders as well. Now for those who are using the Custom as a true seven seat MPV, don't worry because there's actually a third row as well. And it's because this is designed to be a family MPV. The floor is actually low to the ground with a flat space from the first all the way to the third row. Now let's take a look at the back and see how the trunk looks like. You notice that the power tailgate is standard here and that's something that will make the loading of luggage or groceries much easier. And get this, this is designed to take on huge amount of stuff as well because the third row folds down completely flat. So in case you do want to do some furniture shopping, the Custom is the vehicle that you can take with you. For those who are a big fan of the Stargazer's futuristic styling but would want something a bit more rugged, well, your prayers have been answered. This is the Stargazer X. Launched in Indonesia around August, this one now comes to the Philippines to battle other crossover seven-seaters out there. 
In terms of design, the Stargazer X gets this interlocking mesh grill, which is a design feature that we also see in other Hyundai SUVs. You also get a redesigned bumper, black fender flares, and 17-inch alloy wheels, which actually increase the ground clearance over the regular Stargazer. Now, over to the side, you would notice that the Stargazer X get these aesthetic roof rails as well as a two-tone roof motif, which is unique for this particular variant. Now, over to the back, you get the same rugged-looking bumper design that you see in front, as well as the trademark H design of the rear LED taillight. In terms of mechanical features, the Stargazer X retains the same features you get in a regular Stargazer. But get this, you get four-wheel disc brakes as standard in this particular variant. Now, as you step inside the Stargazer X, you would notice this redesigned dashboard. Now, a lot of you are not big fans of the Stargazer's dashboard and thankfully this one's been redesigned. You'll notice a smaller bezel right here in front of the driver and of course, this high-gloss piano black finish replacing the old gray one. Aside from that, the Stargazer X would also get this nice and also very important for traffic situations the electronic parking brake with auto brake hold. Now, aside from those features that I mentioned, the Stargazer X would also get these black leather seats with red accents. Those differences inside, it's pretty much like the regular standard Stargazer. And for more information about that, you can check out our previous unboxing video. Whatever your family needs, Hyundai has you covered. In the case of the Stargazer X, it starts at a price of 1.348 million, and if you're going for the custom, it comes out with a surprising price tag that starts at just 1.770 million. You can check it out for yourself at any authorized Hyundai dealership nationwide.